Hello. Welcome to All A Plus Essays. The best among the best. My name is Julie and I will be your instructor as we read through radioactivity. The article source is embedded in the video description below. Feel free to read along. Please note that you can get a custom, plagiarism free essay for as little as $10 a page at All A Plus Essays. The link is in the description. Chemistry, Becquerel and Curie The discovery of radioactivity is probably one of the most significant achievements of human science. This was a rather complicated process and many outstanding scientists worked on this problem. In this respect, it worth to mention Henry Becquerel and Pierre and Marie Curie as probably the most successful researchers in this field. At least, it is possible to estimate that their use of the electroscope contributed significantly to better understanding and detecting radioactive sources. On analyzing their works, it is necessary to point out that Henry Becquerel had actually made a great part of the job concerning the detection of radioactive sources and radioactivity at large but his work could hardly be fully completed without assistance of Pierre and Marie Curie. In this respect, it should be said that the researches of Becquerel were the continuation of researchers of other scientists, such as Rentgen who discovered X-ray. Moreover, in his research Becquerel basically followed the general procedure exploring various types of radiation to perform some of the experiments that Rentgen conducted to determine the properties of X-rays, Seaboard 1998, pages 199. Basically, Becquerel followed this traditional procedure since he believed that his own rays were similar to those researched by Rentgen. However, there was a significant difference in his experiments aiming at detection of sources of radioactivity. Notably, he substituted a layer of uranium salts for a cathode ray tube. Basically he used it in order to show that the separate gold leaves of an electroscope were made to fall, Glassstone 1969, pages 337. On establishing this electrical property, Henry Becquerel he continued his researches in order to find out whether the rays were reflected and refracted and the conclusion was affirmative. His further researches with the help of electroscope reveal the fact that uranium nitrate ceases to luminescence when it is dissolved or melted in its water of crystallization and the scientist in darkness, heated crystal in a sealed glass tube, protecting it even from the light of the alcohol flame, Chris and Man 1986, pages 276. Then he allowed it to crystallize in darkness. As a result, he found out that all phosphorescence had been destroyed in this process, Yet the salt still produced results on a photographic plate as strong as crystals exposed to light, Chris and Man 1986, pages 281. On continuing his experiments, he used a disk of pure uranium metal and arrived at the discovery that it produced penetrating radiation three to four times as intense as that he had first seen potassium arenyl sulfate. Practically at the same time, in parallel research Curie discovered that radiations given of by uranium were composed of more than one type, notably some rays were bent one way by a magnetic field. Others were bent another way, Spangenberg and Moser 1999, pages 402. Actually, scientists knew about this fact but the problem was that nobody exactly knew what these rays, or, to put it more precisely, particles, were composed of, and Curie suggested the name for these radiations, radioactivity, and that is the name that stuck. Thus, the work of Becquerel and Curie contributed significantly to the research of radiation and was extremely important for the further scientific progress. Bibliography 1. Badash, Lawrence. The Discovery of Radioactivity, Physics Today, February 1996. 2. Kreese, Robert P. and Charles C. Mann. The Second Creation. Affiliated East West Press Private Ltd 1986. 3. Spangenberg, Ray and Diane K. Moser. The History of Science from 1895 to 1945. Universities Press, India, Limited 1999. 4. Glastone, Samuel. Source Book on Atomic Energy. Affiliated East West Press Private Ltd 1969. 5. Seaborg, Glenn. The Discovery of Radioactivity. New York, New Publishers, 1998. Thank you for taking your time to listen to me. I hope you enjoyed learning about radioactivity as much as I did. Kindly remember that you can get a custom, 
plagiarism free essay at all a plus essays for as little as little as ten dollars the link is in the description see you next time